I, I'll just add a point over here. Uh, I was listening to this um, podcast or something on YouTube, uh, wherein they were predicting the future of remote work and um, individual people working from their homes. And they said that uh, although it sounds as a cool concept, it won't come in a country like India because uh, number one, most of the India lives in joint families and uh, in joint families, you can't expect uh, every uh, person who is working to have an individual room to himself that, okay, uh, take this room, make it an office kind of. So if you look at my room, I have a proper desk behind me wherein uh, with like thump and board and all, but not everyone uh, who is an employee can, you know, have these kind of facilities. And that's when they said that, um, you know, no, India won't uh, get uh, such kind of an atmosphere. Plus another point over here was that uh, even if you say that, okay, uh, people are able to dedicate an extra, uh, an extra room for themselves. Another point comes is that uh, India is a like uh, if you look uh, if you compare India versus abroad, abroad is a very um, you know they they are a very individualistic kind of country. As in every person is first an individual and then a fam- family member. In India, that role is reversed. You're first a family member, then an individual. So that's why uh, like you know many people uh, have been complaining right now also during the pandemic that. Uh, we are hosting uh, like professional company meetings and we see that guy's kid is coming behind his laptop and things like that. And all these reasons, uh, you know, accumulate. And that's why they say that, okay, remote work is not uh, seen in India and like in the future. So what's your take on that? Yeah. So I have seen uh, many such things uh, uh, like their kids and they are uh, roaming around their, their father or mother. So this happened in March also, uh, not in just my company, but in many companies. Hmm. But then what corporate has realized, I have, I must appreciate them for this. They said, uh, working from home is not uh, like your place. So uh, many times what happens, like people, a father or a mother, they shout on their children. Hmm. Like if they come in between the meeting or so, so but uh, many leadership team have told to each other let's not do that because mm. that is not that is not our place to work actually mm. Mm. that is the children's place so let us uh, accept everything whatever these children are doing in our mm. meeting yeah so but if uh, we, if I, but once again you know that is a very temporary solution uh, that everyone is expecting that okay coronavirus will go in a couple of months and also that's why you can okay just let go the things but once you're talking about something being permanent that okay this is a lifestyle i don't think people would agree that oh it's a kid and that emotional sentiment that's good for six months to one year but if you're talking of a long term i don't think that you know uh, even the leadership teams would permit uh, such things going on i don't know about those things here uh, from now but from a uh, current or short term perspective, I think uh, uh, it's not creating a huge impact. Like if people are disturbing to each other, like their home is uh, family member is interfering in some or some noise is coming for short term. I don't know uh, for short term. It is not creating any mess, but for a future perspective, it will reiterate and it will test companies will test how the things are going, how the clients are taking it positively or negatively, then hmm. they will figure out. Yeah, but I'm not sure about the long term and uh, talking about uh, uh, what did you say about the first point about the furniture or setup, right? Yeah. So, <clears throat> so in that case also, I totally agree. Like uh, uh, Indian families are mostly joint families and it creates a lot of hard thing for uh, people. And if there are two to three employees in a uh, in one home, then it will be a huge mess for them. Uh, so, so it's totally uh, one of the headache for companies also how to deal with this problem and many mm. companies are tying up with the uh, furniture company that mm. uh, if he or she is working in XYZ company and if he or she goes to IKEA then mm. he might get 20 or 30 percent on some furniture so these yeah. kind of tie-ups are also happening in the industry mm. that where people can get a furniture or any table for a lesser rate now about the real estate space so that is not the headache of the company. Like company cannot do anything. Like if you are not mm. having a room, if I don't have a personal room, then I don't think uh, for now company will provide these kind of things because mm. that is the whole reason company has set up an office to yeah. come there and work. Mm. Right. So let's see how the things pan out in the years for, but short for a shorter time, one or two, three years, like 
they don't see a problem they will deal with this small small kind of things yeah. and they will test like what the future would look like after 40 or 20 years yeah, and that gives that gives a uh, rise to co-working space in a very positive manner because uh, co-working space is something which can be implemented in india if you are looking out for remote work uh, yes you cannot give individual real estate space to every employee but you can obviously like tell we work that okay 20 of our employees live in your city so we are just booking off 20 seats on this table uh, just take care of them so that uh, things yes. like that can happen yes i have i have totally seen this trend in uh, uk and us also so these kind of company exist and these kind of company lend on the hourly basis hmm. and on the daily basis also to their employees and every facilities are given hmm. uh, from laptop Uh, i mean this is a very strange that uh, these company also give the laptop to other company like you can work on these systems mm-hmm. because now everything was is in the cloud nothing yeah. is on uh, very very less things are on these systems mm-hmm. but uh, still uh, for a big firm it is very hard to work on another system but there is a trend which is coming in india also for this uh, cloud based uh, things and uh, remote working and uh, the name you said co-working space so i have been i have worked in co-working space also for a free because there was some voucher but the atmosphere is very very cool to work there yeah